like T'Challa. Hey, what's up, YouTube family? It's Denot. I got big dreams to see the world and do what my heart believes. Everything ain't what it seems, so I'm here to tell you the truth about pop culture, hip-hop, and some of the most toxic shit across the web. Forget Charleston White. I'm the one. Like it or not. Better subscribe to my channel and like this video, because I'm not going to stop. I am T'Challa. What's up, everybody? Thank y'all so much for pulling up and supporting the Denot Show. It's very important that you guys hit the like. Can I get at least 200 likes before we bring the special guest up with the story time and dealing with another content creator by the name of Storm Monroe? Please hit the like. Please hit the like. It's going to be a great show. You know I can get a business. I can get a smoke. But for purposes of this live stream, we're going to keep it professional. So if I get a tag, I'm going to be the professional victim all 2024. So please make sure you hit the like. Is my smile good enough? <laughs> hit the like, hit the like. Please continue to support the channel. It's the Denial Show. So um, this live stream came to me because um, there's, a, there's a lot of people showing interest in me on Instagram. And uh, Cutie TV is one of the people. Um, it's about a story in which involving Christian Rock in a, in a crazy, deranged fan. I did not ask for it, so forth. So you guys know that I've done certain things to chase clout and have did things. This is not one of those things. I will be completely honest and transparent about anything that I'm doing because it doesn't matter if you point out what I'm doing. Are you bitching or you snitching? Like, what, what's, what's up with it? This is the internet and we do things. The people only want to be entertained. And I am the number one entertainer on YouTube. Nobody can deny that, okay? Not even your God and your leader, Storm and Roe. So I just want to keep continue to remind people that um, the purpose of this and continue to bring awareness to the fact that uh, Christian Rock is in danger by a crazy stalker who is basically grifting her fan base, older women that are not tech savvy, ran certain scams to collect over, I hear 150000 I hear $300,000 from elderly black women, um, that is uh, Auntie Hot Piss Hot Mattress, aka Auntie Hot Tea Hot Chocolate. Okay, um, she looked like Res Busta. Um, if she loses a couple of pounds, she might remind your smoking mama. But this is her continuously saying that she's a scammer. Let's hear it. Keep that shit. You bitches is not from the streets. You're not from the slums. That's why you're gonna always call me a scammer. Because, bitch, however I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. Oh, well, call who you want, tell who you want, whatever. 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 If, it's, if you got a family to feed, mm. And my ass off, bitch, yep. And... So that is a black woman who's admitting that she's a scammer, who's admitting that she doesn't care about scamming black, other black women, Again, that is Auntie Hot Peace, Hot Chocolate, Auntie who thought that she was going to run up on me and get a moment, but she didn't know that I was going to ultimately prove that she was Auntie Mayonnaise and Mustard trying to catch up. You're not going to outsmart me. She made me a victim and we're going to continue to ride her, even if we're talking about Donald Trump or the war in Israel. She is a scammer. Don't support her. Fuck you if you do. Okay. All y'all rock heads need to go somewhere. Christian Rock looked at the story and this is going to go viral and touch the bigger blogs as I give it to WAC 100. So full disclosure, because I'm dealing with this storyline, there are certain people connected to YouTube, have YouTube platforms that have been scammed by other YouTubers. This particular live stream is about a black woman who is a single mother has been scammed by Storm Monroe. Now, I asked her about the receipts. I need receipts before I go live. I don't want to defame anybody because you can be sued. Better yet, even if I defame Storm Monroe, he's not smart enough to file a lawsuit because he actually begged me to teach him how to file a lawsuit. And I showed him certain documentations against uh, Officer Dustmite and Dookie Way. He still haven't busted the grape over there. And not even Perry and Sherelle would challenge me when it comes to the law. So he's not going to do anything. But I want to say for integrity purposes, I'm not here to bash him, to troll him, to scalp him in this metaverse. But I'm here to get the facts out. OK, um, I'm in competition with everybody. I have nothing personal against Storm and Roe. But if you got an audience that you're scamming, you're grifting, I see fallacies in your particular type of content. I'm going to compete with you. And I already told you guys it's the sale games. So without further ado, I'm going to bring Cutie TV up. 
to tell her story. But before I let her tell her story, let's introduce her. And I'm going to ask her specific questions to prove that I'm not here. And I did not reach out to her about Storm Monroe. She reached out to me. Hi, Cutie TV. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hi, can you go ahead and introduce yourself to my audience? And shout out to the Cutie TV gang. I greatly appreciate you guys for pulling up. I greatly appreciate you for coming to me, bringing me this story. Because if he come out to you, I have a duty to go out to him. And I don't think he want that smoke. You guys can join and subscribe to my channel at the Not Reactions. That's why I give all the smoke about all the contents and it's no hold bars. Okay, so go and subscribe to at the Not Reactions. But without further ado, Cutie TV, can you introduce yourself and tell me what's your purpose on YouTube? Absolutely. So my name is Cutie. Um, everybody knows me as Cutie TV. Um, my purpose um, on YouTube, I'm still kind of trying to figure that out. Um, I actually stumbled up on YouTube when I did YouTube. Um, I was in another sector. I kind of mm -hmm. felt like I was being boxed. I didn't feel like I was, you know, living my full potential. So I ended up, you know, doing different content. Oh, and, me. Huh? That, very, that sounds familiar to me. I was in a sector. Yeah, where, you know, I was appeasing a certain audience. And honestly, when I decided that that particular audience and what they was interested in was no longer interested in me, they attacked me and made me into the content. Yes. Okay. You went through that too. Yes. The not. Yes. Yes. And, um, I was adamant cause I feel like I was boxed. I was like, no, I want to break free. I know what I have, what my talent is. And I, I was like, bro, the world needs to know cutie tv so um i started over here and my platform was at 2k subs for about maybe about a month and a half and then all of a sudden i, I just went up to 18k um so i'm I was let's really talk about you going up to 18k because you're currently at 18k correct uh yeah so i am at uh a little like 18k and some change yeah we can't you know i would i would be completely biased if i sit here and try to you know say that i first of all who reached out to who did i reach out to you or you reached out to me absolutely not and i'm so glad you brought that up this is so crazy i want to tell the story because this was so random like i really feel like this was just like I ain't gonna say fate or karma. I don't know what to call it. Okay. So I was um, familiar with, um, you know, Grape T is my brother. And um, we were familiar with the big story as far as with Krishan and the situation with the lady. Um, and I really, really um, was just looking at that. And I was like, man. So I also caught another one of your shows and there was a panel of women and these women were saying what they wanted to say. And of course you were putting them in a place, but it was in a way that you were doing it like as they are human beings, you wasn't disrespectful. I mean, well, you pause, know. pause, because I, I want to be honest with you as you know, there's sectors of people that try to control narratives about me. I would say that I'm not perfect. When I was 18, I finally hit my sister back because she beat me up all my life and I went to jail right. for it. You know, I hated my mother had issues and stuff. But today, who I am today in this particular moment is if you're a woman, if you give me smoke, I'm going to give you smoke. Um, right. And I have, you know, and I've said some things that might, you know, people try to use against me. Do you feel like I hate black women? I absolutely not. Because again, initially when I reached out to you, we were just literally conversating and I was speaking of your work and I was just blown away by like just everything I seen. And that show just had me feeling at ease. And I was like, Hey, Denied, you know, we talked, I mean, you know the story, but I want to kind of tell it of how it happened. Um, mm -hmm. I reached out to you and I was like, Hey, Denied, actually, I believe it was in my brother's live. And I was like, Hey, Denied, I want to talk to you about something and I want to vent about it. And you just, right. you know, created that safe space for I me to where, well, that was literally last night. I want to say about about two o'clock in the morning because yes. you know, um, yeah, yeah. Shout out to him because he came over. Mm -hmm. He was on the panel, and I went to support him. Even though mm -hmm. I was tired, I was like, you know what? I said I was going to support this brother. Mm -hmm. You know, great, that is great. T news. Shout out to him. Mm -hmm. Go subscribe to him. And you was in the chat. I'm like, who are you? Because it, <laughs> it was. It, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I didn't say that to disregard yeah. you because. Given everything, y'all, I can't, I'm still not even, it's like 
fucking 150 messages in the other folder on yeah. Instagram. And I'm trying to get to as many people as possible. So I did not know who you were. And so yeah. when I asked you in his chat, shout out to him making, you know, connections. When I asked you in his chat, you know, you told me who you was and I hit you up. And so that Absolutely. was the end of us, correct? Actually, I hit you up because you didn't hit me up. I mean, you responded to my DM, but... Yeah, I didn't know you was already <laughs> writing me. Yeah, I was yeah. like, huh? Yeah. I was like, girl, yeah. I got about 150 messages to read. Why you want to <laughs> skip the line, you know? <laughs> I said, look, I said, fuck this. I said, duh, duh, duh. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me, ladies. Let me, let me pass on by. Um, I was adamant. I was adamant on getting this story out. And lo and behold, when we talked and I bent it to you, because we was just randomly talking. We and were, and th hold on, hold on. Let me tell you, you kind of <laughs> forced me into that situation because you're, you are a mod on Great T News and I got PTSD yeah. dealing with moderators. I was like, oh, let me pay attention to this motherfucker because she probably get me up out of here. She probably blocked my contents and everything. So I had no choice but to pay attention to you. And I want to say um, the principal thrust of us connecting is based on the Christian Rock, who is a celebrity that we all talk about. And it led to Storm Monroe in this particular issue, correct? Um, I'm sorry. I just got this um, cash app. Sorry. What were you saying? Okay, great, great, great. Y'all can support me on cash app too. Please and thank you because this is an exclusive story. My cash app is dollar sign did not 007. I was saying that basically I'm just having a dialogue with you to put it into perspective to everybody that you and I met on innocent terms and it wasn't to up, up against a particular YouTuber. Yeah, even though we we were talking we for one we were talking about something else and then i brought it up because it just so happened i had it this is something i've been harboring for a while and when we spoke and every i didn't even know you knew him i mean i know everybody knows him but i didn't know you i i don't i didn't know anything about I mean, I would be completely, I would be completely honest. When I seen him, I was like, oh, he thick. I'm bisexual. So I showed interest in him. And he also has an OnlyFans. So I wouldn't deny that. But now he's over there sitting there looking like a clogged artery. I have no interest. But oh yeah. Oh my God, deny it. What? Don't do that. I don't want to. Oh. You wait, hold on. You on the wrong platform, but you can't take no Ooh. roasting gigs. No, 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 no. That's that's what I do. But um, I don't know. Oh. I just, I just, I guess it's just a little sensitive subject for me because it's it's crazy. You know, I, we talked about it, and it just, I'm just even grateful to, to be on the platform to even speak about it because I, I, I want to speak my piece. You know. Yeah. Okay. And that's what we're here for ultimately. So thank you so much for being here. And now when you first approached me about Storm Monroe and saying that he scammed you out of money and I do got the receipts and I want to go in chronological order. So please, black lady, let me take the lead. I got you. Got you. Got you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, I was skeptical at first because, you know, I have one person who's never supported me. that just randomly sent me a cash app and then want to kind of like say that, hey, I didn't mean to send that much. You sent it. That's fan funding. I'm not giving you a thing back. And then on top of that, I sent that particular person my phone number. And I was like, call me if you want to discuss. And the only thing I'm going to tell you privately is what I'm going to say publicly. If mm -hmm. you send me money that's fan funding, you don't control me. That's fan funding. You can't get it back. It's what it is. You can't. It's, it's my money. It's fan funding. But so I was skeptical about you because I also have to like, I don't fuck with Storm Monroe. He's competition. So my whole job is to tell people in his audience that I'm more entertaining than him. So I look for ways to do that. But I also have to think critically about, well, what if I was this com content creator and somebody was building a false narrative against me? I would mm -hmm. want to speak to myself. And by the way, I'm going to drop the link so Storm Monroe can actually come to this platform and defend himself. Mm -hmm. But I highly doubt he'll do it because he's a narcissist and he wants to control the narrative. Um. But anyways, when you came to me with your story, I had to fact check you and you yeah. showed me you showed me receipts. And I was like, you know what? That's only one hundred and fifty dollars that you sent him. Did you send it for fan funding? And you broke it down to me that it was actually for the services in which he promote. I actually paid for his services and it wasn't successful. It wasn't fruitful. I never bashed him on that because I know what I paid for. I paid for the possibility.
And mm-hmm. that possibility just proved it, it, it didn't work out for me. So in addition to you being scammed out of the $150 in which we're going to get to, let's take it a step back. And I want to bring up the exhibit number one of when you first started paying for paying Storm and Row for quote unquote classes. This particular receipt that I have before you, let me see. Okay. Yeah. This particular receipt. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to receive it and I'm going to review it ber- verbatim. Um, that says November the 23rd, 2023. Well, before you before you read that, I want to say this. This is a very important key part. So how this started with me and Storm Monroe is that I posted on my YouTube. Again, I told you that my YouTube had blown up tremendously and I actually um, needed some assistance. Like I needed, mm-hmm. not like assistance, like I was looking for an assistant, but I was like, Hey, you guys, do you guys know anybody that could kind of assist me with my YouTube kind of show me the roles because things was happening so fast. I was getting big crowds of people and I just, I, I wanted to kind of learn how to maneuver and stay in that crowd. I mean, I, I had like a, a 1200 people, um, in my chat, like, so, so pause one, one, yeah, I can't. It, it kind of messed up a little bit, but we can. We yes, know what I you're saying. Pay. Okay, don't uh, don't accept that. Please don't accept that, girl, because I might pack you up. You know, cause we, we you know. But anyways, uh, I want to jump back to October the twenty second, two thousand twenty three. The receipts that we have here, based on these receipts that I'm gonna get to. Before I get to them, let me ask you: Did you already have twelve hundred people in your chat before you decided to reach out to Storm and Roll and collaborate with them? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, so that's very important to know. That's very, very important to know because you know some content creators won't help you or won't align themselves with you until you show value for yourself, and then they come in and they want to take credit for it. So thank you for confirming that you have twelve hundred people in your chat before you started doing business with Storm and Row. And I know mm-hmm. I said business, but we're gonna get to the scamming. Anyways, go ahead and explain this receipt and how you first contact the Storm and Row. Right. So uh, um, so basically after that post that I was telling you about, I felt like, um, so, so as a creator, I know you know, well, you're over the creator, but when you're beginning stages, when you probably first blew up, you know, it was kind of a lot to maneuver because you have all of these people, you got big crowds, you got to, you got to show up. People are expecting you. Hey, cutie, you know, I w- when are you going live? Um, it's, it's a lot. People really look to, you know, for your content. And um, I, I really needed help to kind of maneuver such a crowd. And I was doing well, like I can hold a crowd. I was doing really well, but I wanted to kind of have like a mentor and kind of somebody that I can pay monthly. And let me make it clear. I, I, I did reach out to him and, mm-hmm. um, I, so you know, why? Let me ask you a question. If you got, to... hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Let me ask you a question. If you got twelve hundred people already in your chat, why would you need to reach out to Storm and Row and take a mentorship? Please answer that. Well, because I want to kind of to be like, I just it's kind of like with my business. Like people will always tell you, like, hey, you're a woman, start your business. It's great for a woman to have a business. And when you finally make it and you get that business, no one teaches you how to maneuver it. No one teaches you like, hey, how do you balance it? How do you balance being a mother, business owner, full time on YouTube? Like it was kind of a situation like that. I was like, you know, I felt like he had experience. Of course, in my opinion, his work is phenomenal, um, as yours is. I mean, you know, so, um, I just felt it was a safe space for me to be able to, um, just have him to kind of carry me under his wing and stuff like that. So basically, so, uh, this is black women, please believe in y'all selves, rather it's me, Storm Monroe, or another, you know, uh, black man in the queer community, because you know, Storm in the clouds. I didn't have no problem with Storm and Row until uh, Love Jones decided to participate in gang stalking towards me, and I asked him to address her because, as a black woman, I didn't want to address her, and she refused to do so. So that's what started the conflict between me and Storm and Row, whether he realized or not. And then I had to realize that he ain't beard, and when she got scalped, when them girls beat him up and ass over there in New York City. He ain't care about number making content. And I said, oh my gosh, you know what? This is a mule, a beard, but you still need to play your role. So that's what started the conflict between me and Storm Monroe. But based on your story, saying that you had success 
and you seen you pretty much seen the success of Storm Monroe, which is gravitating. I must admit that it's very gravitating. Um, but you, it sounds like you didn't believe in yourself as a black woman to maintain that level of audience and attraction, and you pretty much put yourself underneath uh, 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 a closeted black man so that he can come in and make you feel like you're continuing this path of having at least the 1,200 people that were already in your chat. Am I correct? Um, can you repeat that again? The last, the, the question. Did you, okay, let me sum it up. Did you stop, believe, did you believe in yourself or did you believe that you needed Storm and Row in order to maintain and build upon what you already had? So basically with that, um, I didn't feel like I needed him. Um, I just felt like I kind of needed direction because like I said, I was blowing up kind of fast, faster than what I thought I would. And I uh -huh. didn't know like which direction to go. I really felt like he would be professional enough. And I just felt like it was a safe space for me to be able to say, Hey, how do I do this? Or how does this go? Or what if this, you know, it was, so it was like that, like, you know what I mean? Okay, great. So with this receipt, I have uh, it starts. I don't know what was said prior, and um, because it seems like he reached out to you, even though you said you reached out to him. But this receipt says uh, on uh, October the twenty second, two thousand twenty three. He says, "Hey, this is Storm." You say, "Hey, Storm." Do you think I can pay you monthly until I hang on to things, right? And mind you, you already had 1,200 people in your chat. You then go ahead and say, my channel is doing a little better now. I'm able to pull at least 500 people. And I noticed that they do stay a majority of my lives. But I was wondering maybe if you could tell me some things I need to change. Now, I know for cursing a troll down, yada, yada, yada out of the trolls, my chat, but I'm working on that. He says, yeah, you can definitely do something monthly. No problem. But yes, I'm going to go through your channel and start sending over things to work on. You said, okay, take your time and thank you. So you already had a chat with um, what you say was 1200 people. And then now you're asking him for his help to maintain uh, an audience of 500 people. So again, I'm going to rephrase my question. Did you feel like your, your channel was dying and you wanted to at least maintain or figure out how to get back up to 1,200 people watching you in your chat simultaneously? Oh, absolutely not. I've never had a dying channel. My channels are all, my shows are like lit, like I've never had a problem with holding an audience. Right. So, I don't I don't mean I don't mean to say that bad or constructive. I just need to I just need the people to understand everything because I'm asking you, I'm playing the devil's advocate when I ask you that question. And sometimes we as people can come from an ego. You're you just said to me that you had a chat with 1200 people in it, and now mm -hmm. you're writing him initiating business monthly or whatever coaching, and you're saying that your chat is at 500. So I want you to step back. And think objectively, you had 1,200 people down to 500. That means something isn't working and you need to at least maintain 1,200 people. So did you feel like Storm Monroe would help you get back up to the 1,200s or more? So I was always at the 1200. So when I was speaking of like 500 people, that was just at that one show, my regular shows that I would have would range between the 1200. Um, at that particular time, it wasn't about me having him. It was just about me basically, hey, maneuvering and being like, hey, how do I handle this? What do I do? Uh, is this OK for my show? Like, what do you think about this? Do I need to change this, that and the third? And I do want to say I want to make it clear again. I don't want to bash um, Storm or Love Jones or anybody because I literally don't have a problem with neither one of them. Um, but I do want to be very clear that I don't feel like anybody could help the next person with their content because he has his own way in the YouTube streets and I have my own way. You know, we have content, but it's not similar. So what I was trying to do was say, Hey, do you think that this is too much? Should I change this? Should this be, it was never. So when I said 500 people, that was just for that particular show, but it wasn't every show that I would have 500 people. I mean, I've had shows that I've had like 200 people, you know, it varies, you know, um, I really don't focus on how many people are there. I'm the type of person 
I'm blessed now to where I can just use YouTube as a hobby. And I just really be wanting to see my true people be there. You know, I want to see my real ones there. So mm -hmm. it doesn't matter to me who's in there. But at that time, I wasn't focused on like how many people was in my chat. I was focused on, you know, making my show more professional and just going the right route as far as where I wanted to be on YouTube and my goals for YouTube at that time. Perfect. And also I wanted to point out and shout out to the podcast and Bay 2.0. Um, you stated a great point. She said she wanted consultation. Sounds like that's not what it dispute because you did in fact pay Storm and Row um what I consider a healthy bag for consultation. Mm -hmm. Can you actually get into that? Absolutely. I want to tell every detail um that happened. And actually, I was the one that um, I wanted to get that help. And I was like, Hey kid, is there any way that I could pay you monthly to kind of, you know, be taken up under your wing and to just basically kind of learn the business, learn, you know, the do's and don'ts and just kind of get that help, you know, as far as like what to do, what not to do, what role to go down, what role not to go down and et cetera, et cetera. Absolutely. Shout out to uh, Cutie Gang, been in the building. Thank you so much. Um, by the way, um, we're going to get into what exactly you do because you have to be specific about your goals on YouTube or if you lost, mm -hmm. it's just crazy. But speaking to the point of you reaching out to Storm and Row for consultation, which I, I'm going to be real mm -hmm. with you. I think you was, I'm going to tell you the truth and, and I'll tell you this because I love you. I think you was a stupid motherfucker for reaching out to him in the first place and paying him all the money. So we're right. going to get into how much money you spent with him that you claim to be legitimate versus how mm -hmm. much money he scammed for you and why it's important for you to get your story out. But let's back up to October the 22nd, 2023. Mm -hmm. um, he says, hey, this is Storm. Hey, Storm, do you think I can pay your monthly? you monthly until I get a hang of things? My channel is doing a little better. I'm able to pull at least 500 people. And I noticed they do say a majority of my lies, but I was wondering maybe if you could tell me some things I need to change. Now I'm known for cursing the troll, dove location, yada, yada, hoes out there, trolls, yada, yada, yada. He says, yeah, but we can definitely do something monthly. No problem. You say, but yes, I'm going to go through your channel. And he says, I'm going to go through your channel, start sending over things. You say, take your time. And so with this, you actually agreed to be in business with him. You agreed to, first of all, how much did you pay him monthly or what was the payment arrangement that is completely legitimate? You right. know, because if you're paying me for consultation as a content creator, I can mm -hmm. put whatever price tag I want to put on there. And if mm -hmm. you don't want to pay it, you just don't want to do business with me. So right. you did legitimate business with him, correct? Right. So I want to clear this up too, because I know you're like, oh, you got to be a stupid mother effer. I feel like this. I want to, I want to respond to that comment real quick. Um, I feel like with that, I feel like to me, um, of course I don't have, I'm not like a millionaire. Okay. Um, I like to save money. <laughs> so let me make that clear. But, um, certain amounts of money to other people are not the same. I mean, a certain amount of money to you might be a lot, Versus to me, it may not be a lot or maybe I think it's a lot, but it, to you, it may, you know, not be anything. You know what I mean? Um, but when the agreement was, I think I took like two or three classes. I'm not quite sure, but I paid like between seven, eight hundred and something. So you pay between seven and eight hundred, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you pay between seven and 800. Are you contesting that amount or do you feel like you got your service worth? What is it? I feel like when I gave it to him, it was basically an investment in my business because at the time I treated YouTube as my business. So to me, that was an investment. Um, and again, I looked at the person like my mentor. So, you know, I didn't, I mean, a lot of people probably like, oh, that's a lot. But to me, again, as I said, you know, um, it was an investment and it was something that I was able to do. And I did it a few times and, uh, I, he didn't make me feel like I had to do it. You know, I wasn't forced to do it. Um, so you know. people, People are saying, you know, $700 ain't nothing when you got it, though. I don't think the purpose and the point of this live stream is to say that she had it, she can afford it. So what? 
it does not matter. You know, um, do you feel like you investing uh, money with him for his services were mostly like an investment opposed to like you got money to donate, you know? So I don't really understand. Can you ask it again? <laughs> like, I, I don't get that question. Does it matter? Like, did when you invest, when you spent money with him, mm -hmm. do you mm -hmm. feel like it's because you had it? And even if you had it, do you feel like it was just an investment for services, right? Yeah, I feel like it was an investment for sure. And um, I don't want to put it out as if, oh, I got it. And, it, you know, again, like you said, that's not the point. Um, but uh, yes, I just looked at it as an investment. Um, cause that's right. And, and people like to muddy the water saying that if you're a millionaire black woman who's single with a child, it doesn't matter if somebody scammed you of $150. You got it. So what any kind of loses the blowback and the cause and effect of you know the purpose of this because rather you are you have it to invest is still an investment and some people invest their last so i don't want people to sit here and say just because she had it we're not going to take this in consideration because right. there's a lot of people that are spending their last on people like scam Monroe, people like the lead attorney to invest in these programs and things that they say that they can do to change their YouTube lives and careers. When in actuality, it's a primary function in their business and it's not a r realistic approach for them. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, like for the classes, I'm not actually saying he scammed me out of the classes at all because I take full accountability and I will say, yes, I paid that. Um, I paid that amount, but I feel like when it comes down to, I had a situation to where I wanted to, I have a membership and I wanted to, um, have a motivational video for my members. So I had been promising my members. I'm like, Hey, you guys, you know, we're, I'm going to have a motivational video from a, su a surprise, uh, celeb blogger. And, um, it was just for, you know, my membership and, um, I paid $150 for five minute, a five minute video. Um, and I never received the video from him. Um, and he at one point in time did have a lot of things going on, but, um, I did actually, I mean, I, I, I kept reminding him about it and, um, I, I had never had a problem before, you know, the 150 incident. I mean, even when I did the classes, I believe the classes were like an hour. Um, the eight, I, I think I paid like seven, seven fifty, eight hundred, and they were like out an hour class. Um, so I, I wanted to bring bring that back to home because you said one fifty. Now you have paid this man uh, a right for investment that is not up to, for dispute of seven eight hundred dollars, uh, mm -hmm. one time on multiple occasions. Um, I did pay the multiple occasions, uh, probably at the most like three times. Um, so, so you basically pretty much pay him between two thousand and twenty five hundred dollars, and that's not up for debate, correct? Well, had the one hundred and fifty incident not happened, and he would have did the five minute video, I actually would have, you know, continued to uh, pay that amount. But, for but, but I, I I know that, and I don't want to move the goalposts. I just want to focus on the le the, the legitimacy and highlight what was mm -hmm. legitimate and what was not so that people don't conflate the two. Cause you know, people watching this and people want to make different content. I, I need to be clear mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. when they report, they can have their facts. So listen to what I'm saying. You pay him between $2,500 for legitimate purposes. Correct. Um, like legitimate purposes. What do you mean when you say that you pay seven, $800 for his services three times at least. Absolutely. Right. Yes. Correct. That's so, correct. So do the math. That's, you know, I don't know, seven, eight hundred. I'm just giving him grace when I'm saying between two thousand and twenty five hundred. Do you know the exact amount? Is it closer to twenty five hundred that you pay him? Um, Yeah, I believe so. Like, mm, yeah, about about around that. Yeah. Ballpark. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I don't think that's up for debate. I've completely dispelled and separated the fact that this quote unquote B wanted to pay to blow up on YouTube, do the work and stop cheating. That's First not up all, for debate. I was already blown up. So before you come up in here, can you pay attention, close your mouth, open your ears and listen to what the hell I said? I was already blown up. So let me make that clear before you come up in here and be loud. At least don't be loud and wrong. 
Exactly. So we're not saying that she did not participate in a certain level. We're dis differentiating between her paying him for legitimate purposes and then the $150 that she felt scammed about. So once you pay him for private classes, you pay him $150 to do what? So when I paid them the $150, I paid him the $150 for the five minute inspirational video for my um, my um, members, for my YouTube membership. And it was $150 for a five minute video. And I was like, hey, you know, I'll pay you. He was like, well, you can choose the price. Um, and I was like, okay, well then just, I'll pay you 150. I was like, just do a five minute video. I was like, it doesn't have to be just that long. Just do five minutes and I'll pay you, um, 150. No, that's cool. Because, um, whoever is being disrespectful. Uh, girl, stay, out the, stay out the chat, girl, please. That's why, uh, Auntie Hot Sauce and catch up, trying to catch up. Um, that's why she in the position she in. So stay out the chat. I'm not going to give them the right. Of Trust me, when you go back and listen, you're going to understand how brilliant this is. Right. But I wanted to say and differentiate between no matter how much or how little she invested, she paid for legitimate services. Then when she paid him a price in which he agreed upon to promote, to create a membership, a video for her to alert in more members, he refused to do so. And what, when did you pay him for that? And then I'm going to say this, and I'm sorry, Donata, I hope it's not disrespectful, but I just want to be very adamant and very, um, I want to say this with just as much style and grace and ladiness and classiness um, as I can. Um, Period. So Period. And, you, and you're not, and I want to say she's not disputing. She's not disputing the legitimate transaction. She's not disputing the $2,500 or whatever. That's not up for dispute. That's not what we're talking about. That's why I made clear we had to differentiate. Yeah, because if I wanted to spend a thousand dollars, I can. I have people that I paid a thousand dollars to. So if I wanted to spend a thousand dollars, and you know how many. Mm -hmm. Another thing too is, is that, um, what was I about to say? Yeah. So I, whatever I spend it on, it was my money. As long as it didn't take, you know, the thing is, is that everything I do on YouTube, is always going to be critiqued at the end <laughs> of the day. I'm here to tell my story. I want to tell it how it happened. Again, I don't have a problem with Storm. I actually was more hurt by this more than anything. I don't want to bash him or the late the lady you mentioned, or I don't want to bash nobody. But I want my story to get out because there is a hidden world behind celebrity blogging that people don't know about. And to be honest with you, so it's like at the end of the day, I want to speak because this is something I've held and carried with me. I don't expect an apology. I don't expect um, any money back from him or anything like that. Like while I'm live now, he sent me a cash app for the money back. And he said he forgot, but I sent a request and I'm like, Hey, you know, just send me the 150 back. And I never got a response. So that's fine. Like I don't, oh, do you, do you feel like, do you feel like he took the measure of, because when did you send the request back for the money originally? Well, when the whole incident happened, it was after my birthday. Um, I had just had my birthday and I had did a giveaway mm -hmm. on my actual birthday. Um, mm -hmm. So when I did the giveaway on my actual birthday, um, a little bit after my birthday is when this incident happened with him. Um, so I took it very personal because, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I did request for the money to come back and, you know, he, you know, for some reason, I he didn't send it back. So, I mean, again, I don't care about the money. Fuck the money. Who cares? What I care about is this is someone I looked up to as a mentor. I supported everything he did. When I say I would drop hundreds of dollars in his chat, I was a huge, huge, huge fan of Storm Monroe. I was a fan of his work. You know, I paid for the classes. I brought everything he sold. When you're really supporting someone, you are, you want to know what they got going on. You know, I was a member on this channel. I just genuinely enjoyed his work and looked at him like a big brother. You know what I'm saying? And I really, um, it more. Don't be crying. I, you know, and I don't know, like I said, you never told me anything. I, I came to you. That's we we I came to you. So 
I never knew any type of, you never told me anything about any beefs. Like that wasn't like, I want to be very clear and I'm very adamant on that. Um, yes. Uh, thank you, John Jonathan. I looked up to him and he let me down and the type of person I am. Yes. I the feels everybody knows that, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a lot of stuff that's behind the scenes that people need to know, don't know about. about. Right. And, and then the more you explain it. Like him and a certain female, I won't say right now. But oh, we're, we're going to get to her. But the more I just wanted to point out, Susie Smith is always in my chat. And she says, oh, OK, this is buyer's remorse. And he's not the type of person you assume he was. That's not true. This is not buyer's remorse. This is him taking advantage and actually stealing somebody's money who requested it back specifically like this is this is the evidence that convinced me to do this video lord knows i don't give a fuck about no storm and row but when she showed me the receipts and it said for the members video and it expired and this is for february the 8th look at this, this is the problem that i have with the whole situation so this is not buyer's remorse this is somebody that was scammed because what y'all fail to realize is her as a youtube creator she asked him to do something for him do something for her that would have innately put her in a position to where she no longer needed him and it was a proper service that he agreed upon and because he only offers services not to see people win but for people to be under his shadow he refused to endorse her and create a video to entice people to join her memberships at whatever fixed rate it is that's a scam that's what this video is all about. There's no justification for it. Absolutely First of all, for not. the ones that's not comprehending, um, things like this need to be talked about. It's not always easy here. It's not easy for me to talk about it. Like I care about Storm. That was my that was my mentor. And like, he should give a fuck about you and you as a single mother when he robbed you and refused to give you the ultimate gifts as a former supporter like his face is in your joint membership that means both of you guys are tied to the same audience yet yeah. again you got you got some somebody like conscious tv who depended on larry reed who depends on him and who is more than likely going to do try to you know try to get at me at the, you know but you're going to get packed up for storm and row because they build each other's platform this is the cult like mentality look at these youtubers and look at their most viewed videos you will see who needs who and why they go along with these certain narratives and because of that you will see who's a part of it shout out to medusa for the 20 dollars super chat super sticker they're not gonna outsmart me and storm and row and all of them know that if they come gonna get packed up and i'm not gonna do it on this channel Y'all go and subscribe to the at the not reactions. We need the watch hours and the subscribers to monetize that one too. So I'm expecting this, but I want you guys to know and separate the trolling, the roast, the gag, the not opposed to something that we need to get to the bottom of it. This nigga's a scam artist going out, pretending to offer services, aligning himself with people that are already successful just so they can keep coming back to give him money to, to like, first of all, they say you was, you had a bishop walking in your apartment and you can think just how Larry Reed like him and both of y'all in Atlanta, Georgia, and you scamming black women. How much money do you need? You know, so the, these are the operative facts to where y'all just some demonic people. Even Nick at Night Quill, we're going to have a story about her in part two because we expect people to come out to me. If you come out the hurt, you're going to get packed up at the do not at the not reactions. Go subscribe to my backup channel. That's just what's going to happen. So I don't think people won't smoke. I think people should be more solution oriented, getting the facts out and not operating out of the ego. Because what Storm and Rogo go do, he's going to go, oh, fuck her. I was won't want and won't want. That's what he's going to go well, do. I honestly, am like I was prepared for everything like I'm blessed by my supporters and by God to where it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm able to, you know, depend on my business. Now I do have a business, but, um, I wanted, I wanted this to be told. It was the, the goal is not to bash anyone. Um, the goal, these things need to be talked about. They're hard to talk about, but they need to be discussed because again, like certain creators, I've had creators way bigger than me and copying what I'm doing. And I, I work hard mm -hmm. for what I do, deny. I work hard and I Oh my god, hold on. I, I gotta get out of it. You talking about Nick at Night Quill. 
I just feel like I'm. Oh, I don't like. Oh, we we got to do a part two, girl. We got because I got okay. I got to go. I can't be here talking about that part of the closet. I can't be doing none of that. Okay. So uh, we're gonna do a part two. Learned, also, I'm gonna say this though, Denai. I ain't gonna. I'm sorry for interrupting. I'm gonna say this. I did learn the hard way that it doesn't matter how much talent you actually have. It doesn't matter if you're thinking one of your faves. It doesn't matter when you step on this platform as a creator. Your competition. It doesn't matter if you. If, it doesn't matter if you like this person's work. It doesn't matter. Um, and 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 it doesn't matter. And some of these bigger bloggers, they can be ruthless. Some of them, not all. And when you speak up for yourself, they have a problem with it. Like, I don't give a damn. I'm going to say when me and Neek, whatever. I said what I had to say. Oh, I said, listen, no, I got, listen, I, I got, I want all the smoke with her. She a nasty, low vibrational spirit. I just feel like I'm going I'm to save the tea for another day with that. But one thing I'm going to say, and I'm going to leave it alone with that, is that I felt like when uh, that's another creator that is, in my opinion, very, very nasty. Oh, I want all the tea. Oh, I want all the tea and on me at night with us. I, I, I'm gonna save that for the second show. I'm gonna save that for the second show. But what I will say, the only little thing, I ain't gonna give you the tea now. Mm -hmm. But what I will say is, this is another thing. I supported that creator, and I was mm -hmm. fond of her work and everything. But you know, again, when people will come to my chat talking about her, I say, no, y'all don't do that. Don't talk about her. I watch her show. But when she got to the point in time when I called it out about that's dead with that. But like I said before, it was like, she was like, oh, you was a fan. You was a fan. You was, you was in my chat giving me a hundred dollars and blah, 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 blah. No, baby, that's support. Yeah. But you so faithful and, and dirty and mean and low down. You don't understand support. That wasn't fan. That was supporting your channel and your work and your craft. That's why I don't fuck with people. Entertaining. We more entertaining and I don't care about you saying you, you ain't got nobody in your real Look life that love you. Bitches. You problematic. Uh, Nick at night quill, you drive and you sleep and you had your big moon pie face in the nature boy content and I couldn't take it. Especially now after that I seen you girl, eat. She was eating a hot sausage in a pickle on. egg. Huh? The other girl you were speaking on, I really the love Jones girl. I really like her. I don't really have any problems with her. Uh, listen, she was in the chat harassing me and they gave me a strike because I responded with a big back ass. Uh-uh, I'm good. I'm good on her. Like, and she okay. knows and she you. need to stop. She must. She, you know what? That hundred and fifty dollars storm Monroe scam you. Did he scam you around at the time he went on vacation? Did not stop it. Hold on, no, no. He went on vacation. He gave Lord Jones your hundred and fifty dollars. Good night. Be his beard. That's what it was. Uh huh. We see you. And, 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 Women yeah. are looking at him and supporting, spending their last. Most people, especially black people, we come to the internet and fake like we got it all and we good, but we got we just doing that for image. So I'm not saying you, cutie TV, but I'm saying so many oh, other yeah, people yeah, are like, course, well, I can blow it. I got it. It's okay. When in reality, they don't. So a scam is a scam. Okay. But we'll do part two. Don't go anywhere. Just uh, I'm going to drop you down. We're going to do an outro and get up out of here. Okay. Much love. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. Absolutely. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. If you've enjoyed this content, please go and subscribe to Great T News channel, Cutie TV, and also subscribe to this channel. The best way to support this channel is by liking the video. Please and thank you. Super thank yous are greatly appreciated. The best method of donation is a cash out. I told y'all. What's going on with y'all? Uh, I don't want no smoke. I definitely believe that Cutie TV has gotten me in the middle of some shit. And she know, as well as y'all know, if you play with me, you're going to get packed up. Please go and subscribe to at the not reactions where we break all the rules. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Like this video. Like this video. Uh, don't.